COVID-19 pandemic is not only a medical crisis, but a psychological one. Along with the collective anxiety, stress, and sadness comes collective loss and sorrow. A death in your family or in your circle of friends is always a difficult one. And perhaps even more so during the COVID-19 pandemic. What we are experiencing now is a grieving loss, and as we move forward, people will continue to experience losses as we can predict. You may feel shocked, upset, fearful, or distressed. And it may not be possible to mark your loved one's death in the way you would like. Making you feel that you're missing a step. Remember, you are not alone. There are many ways for you to receive support. Psychologists have come up with 10 ways. One, be as connected as possible. Psychologists encourage people to stay connected with social support networks or dear family and friends. Two, remember grief is a price to pay for love. Give yourself time. As time passes by, that feeling of sadness will heal. Three, keep conversations going with those closest to you, your family or close circle of friends. Four, and if they are not physically near, give them a call. Connect your heart and thoughts with them. Five, talk and video call people through WhatsApp or Facebook. For many people, it will take time to recover from their losses. Keep checking your friends and family members even after this period of isolation ends. Six, eat and stay hydrated. Your body has needs and grief is a hard work. When we are grieving, it is no surprise we often turn to our favorite comfort foods to ease our pain or to reward ourselves for getting through the day. Don't get me wrong, every now and then, we probably do deserve it. Seven, try to stick to your normal routine. If you can, get out into the garden. Getting your hands in the earth can reduce sadness, stress, anger, shock, and other emotions while lifting your spirit. Or you can spend a short time pulling weeds or watering the garden.
8. Check in with children. Answer your questions honestly. Adults sometimes have trouble facing death themselves. If adults are open, honest and loving, experiencing the loss of someone loved can be a chance for children to learn about both the joy and the pain that comes from caring deeply for other people. Nine, children may appear sad and happy within minutes. This is okay and normal. Let them set their own pace. There are no rules for grief. and social media when you are feeling very sad you may find it distressing you may indulge in journaling hanging out with friends or taking time to be with nature by being apart. Remember, in grief, you can only do the best you can. Be kind to yourself.